Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about drives, weapon gear, armor, and what you guys should be looking forward to because I believe most of you guys are going to now get into HH, getting your HH gear, we're going to be talking about this now in this video. So what I'm talking about is if you go to your armor, some of them might say mid-class, some might say premium, superior, poor. Um, if the, All that means is if you hold sh uh, shift, it tells you a percentage of what your armor is. Now for armor, the percent increases your defense stat. For weapons, it increases your attack. So it's really important that your weapon gets a higher roll. Now when you get a weapon drop or you craft a weapon, it comes with a certain percent. It comes from anywhere between 0% to 100%. Now as you can see, mine's a 98.2. I did not get extremely lucky and just craft it like that. What you can actually do is you can come over to Trisha and you can go to uh, great, you can go to great refinement. You put your weapon in, you press refine. Now, as you can see at the bottom, this uses refined stones. So the basic refiner is a 0% to 100% roll. The blue ones are 41% to 100% and the purple ones are 61 to 100%. Now, you can also see that up here I have points. Whenever you get to enough points, the points required, you could press precise refinement. You refine, you get 100% guaranteed. These refinement stones can be sold or bought on the marketplace. The basic ones are currently going for 125k. The blue ones, I have no idea what they're going for. Last time I checked, they were going for 800k. So if I just search up refined, refined stone, the blue ones are going for about 800k. And the purple ones, last time I checked, were going for about 5 to 6 mil. Oh, they dropped. Now they're down to 4 mil. So... That's all you have to do for your weapons. Make sure that your weapon is rolled 95% or higher because, again, it, it increases your weapon's damage overall, your the attack. And then for armor, you don't have to worry about it too much. I would just roll it so it's like around 80% minimum for HH gear. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it for the AOV gear unless something's like a really low roll like this. 10% feels bad. I might roll this really quick. Okay, but that's all. That's it for the percentage on it. Now, we already talked about our stats in another video, so if you're if you need to, if you're wondering about what stats to get, go ahead and go check out that other video. Moving on to the next thing. The next thing is going to be tags. As you can see, mine says Dawn Twilight Ex a Glory Extended. So, the Dawn effect gives you boss damage and soul weapon percent. There is a better tag out there which is called Shrieking, which gives you boss percent and flat damage. That is the best title or best tag in the game. If you have a purple shrieking, I would save it for Violent Sun. If you have a red one or a yellow one, I just put it on whatever weapon you have, HH or Lunar Fall. And you should be saving those if you have them really high. Now, how do you put your tag on there? You go to, again, you go to Trisha, you press Refine, you go to Tag Refinement, you put your weapon inside. So let's say I want to put it on this weapon. I go to a tag I have, I put the tag here that I want. And then all I do is I add uh, fodder tags that I don't want, and they'll give you percentage. So as you can see, it's now 36%. What you want to do is you want to get this all the way up to 100% and then re-roll because um, if it doesn't, if the tag fails to go on, it has a chance to break the tag and you don't get it back. So you always want 100%. Now, you might be asking yourself, where do I get these chip flexors? Where do I get these tags? And there's three main ways, technically four, but the fourth way is a troll. So, first way, Innocent Daydream, you get you can get them from there. Second way, Skyclock Palace. So Skyclock Palace is going to be the main way, place where you farm them, because you can farm this as much as you want, and you don't get kicked out. IDD, you can only do twice a day. The uh, last way you could get it is going, to be, is going to be from events. And then the troll way is going to be from Cash Shop. You can swipe, but I don't recommend it. I just recommend going to farm Skyclock Palace. Now, Skycock Palace, the thing to note about that is you need two to four people to run it, so be be aware of that. And uh, with your trash, your really, really trash uh, chip flexors, I, I didn't keep any of the tags. So with the really, really trash ones, what you can do, I could just open some right now for you guys. So with the really, really bad ones, you just dismantle them. So these are all really bad ones. So what you do is you go to the blacksmith, you go to dismantle, auto select, cash, rare, boom. Now you get these this blue dust, and you can take this blue dust over to Janus, and you go to craft, you go over to uh, to tag, 
and then each tag will take um, the blue dust. Now, these tags are all random. This this wording is really bad. It's a random tag. If you put this on, it'll, it'll roll a hero, it'll roll a rank six tag, a hero purple tag, but it'll pull from all of the all of the purple ones and give you a random one. Same with the armor. There are also armor tags, and the best armor tags will be the SG minus tags, because you want SG is your mana. You want to save your mana. So if uh, you have any questions about tags, go ahead and put that in the comment. If you have any questions about the refinement, go ahead and put that in the comment. The last part of this video is going to be talking about when you get a Lunar Fall weapon or an HH weapon, what to put in the sockets. So as you can see, I still have two sockets unlocked. I'm going to be unlocking these soon, which you can unlock them with... Um, I have them here somewhere. Socket unlockers, these socket implement devices. Now I only have three, so I was saving it for my Lunar Fall weapon because I'll use one for each. You will get these from doing certain uh, things, like leveling up to 30, I think you get one. And then I don't know where I got my other two, but um, you will get these from quests eventually later on too. Or not quests, events, sorry. You get these from events later on as well. So just keep an eye out for events and buy these when you can, because you will need them for your armor as well. Now, the current meta and the future meta is going to be two level 9 soul stones of the same color and attack damage drives. So the current attack da damage drives are called Unknown Desire. These drop from Hidden Hideout and uh, they have a attack roll on it. So the attack roll from this can be anywhere from 100 to 800. If you're 100, you feel bad, man. 800, you're over there pogging. So what I would recommend is not getting an 800 drive because as you can see 800 drives are 120 140 mil what i recommend you to do is go down here to your to the 700 rolls and buy from anywhere between 700 to 780. if you're a little bit more hardcore and you have more funds 780 to 795 796 then you could buy those as well now the reason why you want the higher ones is because they just give you a flat attack roll and you don't want a really low one because you could just have a bunch more attack for free. And the last part of this video, I'm going to be talking about the armor drives. Now, a thing to notice uh, to note about these drives I'm talking about, the weapon drive I just mentioned, these cannot be removed once you put them in. Once you put them in, the only way to put another one is, is to delete it and go over it. So. The armor drives are going to be level 60 and level 65. If you go to socket and you go to familiar, and then I go to level 60, this will only show me the level 60 ones. And these can go in my weapon. Some of these can go in weapon, but the ones I'm looking for are the armor ones. Now, these are from HH. You can craft these with HH fragments. The boss damage drive, actually, this is a scam. I hate when people do this. It's extra damage to basic, not boss. You want the extra damage to boss. They're actually going for 80 mil each. This is a hidden money maker, just for you guys who are stuck around to the end of this. Because people are going to be buying these, especially if you have any of the HH ones. People aren't really making drives right now because they're saving for um, their gear. So once you once you finish your gear and you finish re-rolling, you should be making some drives. Now, each of these drives you can put... There's three types of them. There's type A, B, and C. And in the HH gear, you could in the AOV gear, you can put one of each type in each uh, armor. Now, for the AOV gear, you can only put the level 60 ones, but for the HH, you could put 60 or 65 ones. Now, the best the best ones for the B drive will be boss damage. You always want the boss damage ones. The best one for the A drive, I believe, is stamina. Let me just double check really quick if I can ever find any of them. Um, no one has the A drives in here. So there, there is one of them is max stamina, then B drive is boss damage, and C drive is crit damage. C drive is only from HH. So as you can see here, here's the C drive that we're gonna be using. I wouldn't the uh, only one I would use from AOV would be a boss damage one right now because you're just gonna replace them. So if we could see here, people are buying them for you know 40 mil, 35 mil, 30, 30. So once you get your gear, you go ahead and put this in. Again, you cannot remove these, so be careful what you put in. If you like put in a 400 crit damage drive and then you get a 440, you'll have to replace it to do it, and you basically lose your first drive that you did. So that's going to be the wrapping up of this. If you enjoyed this video, learn something new, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any comments at all, put them in the comment uh, description. I always, always reply to all comment questions. And uh, also I stream on Twitch, 
same name on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by, and I appreciate you guys watching.